since the dawn of time, the armies of heaven and hell have waged an endless war. Drawn to the conflict was the Charred Council, an entity bound by ancient laws to preserve order and balance. It held that any great power, unchecked, threatened the very fabric of the universe. In time, heaven and hell came to honor the Council and its laws, for none were beyond the swift and terrible justice of the Council's enforcers. A fearsome brotherhood, known as the Four Horsemen. Amid the turmoil, the first humans emerged. The Council foretold that these weak but cunning creatures would someday be integral to the balance. Thus, a third kingdom was named, the Kingdom of Man. By order of the Council, a truce was forged between heaven and hell. The great pact was bound by seven seals to be broken at the appointed time, when man's kingdom stood ready for the end war, a battle that would bring balance and determine the ultimate fate of the three kingdoms. Impossible. Abaddon. What is this? Where are my brothers? This cannot be. The, the final seal. Uh, 
My lord! How did this happen? The seventh seal was not broken! Abaddon! What in heaven's name have you done? I answer the call. The seals were broken. I was summoned. Then where are the other horsemen? Were they not summoned as well? The seven seals are hidden, as they have been since the pack was forged eons ago. All of them intact. There was no call. You made the Dark Ones, broke a sacred covenant that has doomed mankind, and threatened the balance. Do you deny it? When I rode, heaven and hell were already at war. Abaddon was there. He knew something. Abaddon fell, fighting off the chaos you unleashed. I fought powerless against the demons, and still you accuse me. Your defeat proves nothing. Likely the Destroyer cast you aside when he was finished with you. You have defiled the law, Horseman. You will be punished. I serve only the Council. Only the Balance. As the Horsemen always have. Send me back. I will punish the ones responsible. How? What hope do you have against the Destroyer's armies? You are powerless. Then I will fail. And the demons will have carried out your sentence. <laughs> Dreams more thrilling than reality. Had I known the new pact would be so exciting, I would have let walls separate my head from my neck then and there. Is it possible to die of boredom? <laughs> Rampage. <laughs> Bored as I am, perhaps you're just lazy. If I didn't love you so much, I'd kill you just for something to do. The call? Finally. Please, please, please tell me you're a planet of demons that needs slaying. Or two. War. What pathetic fate have you brought upon yourself, brother? Watch your tongue. <laughs> I may be least favored of all the horses, but my tongue never found me chained to a rock like some dog. Fury! 
approach us. I take it there is a mess that needs tending to. Though you jest, you speak true. War has broken his vows to this council and shattered the Seventh Seal. <sighs> the Apocalypse. Why would he... We know not. Yet. As we speak, Earth falls beneath the spears of heaven and the hammers of hell. So the horsemen are to ride. No. While the Char Council seeks to understand how and why the traitor war has committed this abominable act, there is a matter that requires delicate attention. You should have called Strife. He's the delicate one. The seven deadly sins have been released. By whom we cannot say. But the seven roam the earth, free of our prison. The balance between order and chaos is already in jeopardy. The seven cannot be left unchecked. War is in chains. Death is missing. Strife attends to other matters. The last time you faced the sins, it required all four of you. I can handle those fools in my sleep. But when this task is complete, I demand that you grant me my rightful place leading the horsemen. If you would trade obedience for a title, so be it. But never make a demand upon us, horsemen. You depart immediately. Greetings, Miss Fury. I must admit, this is a fortuitous fate. A watcher? You doubt my allegiance? Please, be not cross. I am such an admirer. Scratch that. I'm a fan. You are the horseman. The only one that matters. Enough! I will allow you to accompany me. Just stay out of my way. I will be as unto a shadow. Steadfast. Silent. More silence! Go! Seek out the place called Haven. Your quest for the Seven Deadly begins there. Fury. Wait. I... Whatever has passed between us, search your heart. You cannot believe I am guilty of these crimes. Something is wrong with the universe. Be vigilant, Fury. Forces conspire against us. Heed my words! Haven for what, vermin? Humans, mistress. Adorable. Build a house of sticks during the end of the world. Where exactly do we go from here, Watcher? I... I know not but what the Council commands, mistress. The quest for the Seven begins here. I'm on a mission. <laughs> Protecting humans? Humans think creation favors them. They are apes crawling through dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the grudge you're carrying. I will take. <laughs> when they have nothing left, they will be my playthings until they break. <laughs> you cannot stop me! <laughs> oh, I don't want to. Humanity is tragically overrated. I am not here for them. 
I'm all yours. <laughs> Pretty. Come and get it. supposed to catch envy I did this talisman it's a vessel. Envy used it to hold energies from the rest of the Seven. It will make a fitting prison for the others once their physical forms have been broken. If I may, there is a... Well, a sort of hum emanating from the talisman. That glow... Will indicate when one of the Seven is nearby. I know. So wise. You are all that the Council promised, Mistress. I'm beginning to enjoy the sound of your voice, Watcher. That tree... It's impressive. But is it just me, or is it out of place here? It is a Maker Tree. Most likely we will find refuge there. Behind me, we ones! Let me tend to our uninvited guests. A horseman? Fury. Currently reserving the right to kill you where you stand. And you are? Surprised. And more than a little relieved. Call me Ulfane Blackhammer. So, you'll not be flattening me today? Hmm. <laughs> A maker, are you not? Aye, when there's something to make. Today, my skills are only aimed towards instruments of death. This is not your war. No, not theirs neither. Like your council, I care for balance, horsemen. Humans, frail as they be, are part of the balance. Surely you're here to help protect them. <sighs> Wrong question. <laughs> a tribe of useless, hairless simians whose greatest talent was inventing ingenious new ways to divide and destroy one another. They could suffer forever or die tomorrow, and I wouldn't bat an eye either way. Then what is your business here? What do they call you? Jones. Jones. Question me again, with your last breath. <laughs> Look around. Look what's happened here. Do you honestly think anything scares me now? Easy, lad. This one's none for trifles. Yeah? What do I have to lose? This moronic conflict makes you all look so stupid! Angel, demon, horseman, even maker! What are you even fighting for, huh? Tell me! I like this one. You may continue breathing, Jones. Horseman, please. To have you on our side would turn the tide in ways we cannot measure. Humanity might stand a chance. While my mission does involve balance, it does not require them. I am here to root out the seven deadly sins and return them to the Council. No less, no more. What if... I can help you. 
that by the chain you carry could use some work. I sincerely doubt that. I'm faring quite well without any help. <sighs> of course. But in case you missed the moniker, I am a maker who specializes in instruments of destruction, chaos, and the deliverance of pain. So it stands to reason that we little Ulthane could enhance your arsenal if your horsemanship would give me the chance. In exchange for? Humanity will not survive without aid. If you come across any humans on your journey, please direct them here. Haven is the only place they might be sufficiently protected. Direct them? How do you expect the apes to cross a battlefield and find you? Oh, I don't. They'll need this, the bridge. Only humans can use it. One touch, they're sent to Haven. Must I touch them? I accept your offer, Maker. Though I doubt it will make your collection any less useless. <laughs> we have a non-deal, then. As a show of good faith, a gift. Wrath. Where? You seek a pit of Hellstretch set in the nether, beneath the city. And please, horsemen. Yes, yes, I will shepherd the Wee Ones your way, pointless as it may be. We'll see. And remember, Fury, the doors of Haven stand open to any who ask. He is certainly committed to his cause. Ulthane, he is blind to what truly matters. Perhaps, yes. Just another pawn who will never understand the game into which he's been played. <laughs> and he does love the sound of his own voice, doesn't he? Not like anyone I know. Did you say something? Please, no, just, 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 just kill me. Oh, I... stop your blubbering, human. Come to me. Now! Do you want to live? What? What? If you want to live, I can send you to a safe place. Safe as any, I suppose. Touch it. Idiots. It's a miracle they ruled the Earth for as long as they did. Her tales, but truly, he is a terrible sight to behold. I... I think I may be sick. Ah, music to my ears. Feel the burn of heaven's blade! <laughs> she does enjoy dismembering angels. We all need a hobby. <laughs> I hope you've left something for me. I'll try not to enjoy this too much. <laughs> Final crawl, witch. Oh, that is unfortunate. Rampage! Your master summons you! You're angry! <laughs> you bear 
barely scratched the surface. Then let me dig deep! We were set up. War. The others. There are great forces at work here. Watcher. Help. Mistress! Something is wrong with the world. Delicate order is imbalanced. Step forward. Now I ask of both angel and demon. Do you arrive here of your own free will? The tenants of the Hollowing demand it. I do, Lord of the Hollows. As do I. You have both fought this war since the dawn of time. You are weary. Yet, immortality prevents the ultimate respite. The Lord of the Hollows alone can bestow upon you this gift. The final release. No longer will your souls be recycled time and time again to fight for heaven and hell. They are now mine. And you are finally free! Cowards! Ah, the impetuous creature awakens. Deluded pawn of the Charred Council. Do you even know where you are? I know exactly where I am. The stench betrays you. The Hollows is a hell all its own. Indeed. But it is one that I alone rule. What did you do to them? Nothing that they did not wish for. <laughs> you wear your ignorance on your face. The true consequences of this so-called war for balance are beyond your comprehension. Perhaps I should hollow you. A Watcher. This only confirms what I already held to be true. You are just a puppet. The Council is playing you to further their own machinations. Enough! Unlike you, I have not come to this place for personal gain. The seven deadly sins must be eliminated once and for all to protect the balance you mock. I will not be deterred. She speaks the truth, O oh Lord. And she is tenacious, to say the least. Your words carry no weight with me. They stink of lies. <sighs> Prove your commitment to balance. This is more than a test of battle. A demonstration, horseman. You are so quick to combat. Your whip ready to crack. True righteousness requires true insight. If this was a test, you have failed. To resist a call to raw impulse <laughs> is a different type of strength. Spare your wisdom. I know my strength, and when I prove it to the Council, I alone will lead the horsemen. The Seven will be destroyed, along with their designs for a world far more hideous than the Apocalypse we already know. 
Very well. You will need this. A flame hollow? For what purpose? Even I am aware that there are times when sides must be chosen. Take this weapon, and know that I have chosen mine. But take heed, horseman. The universe has so many faces. Your survival depends on what you have learned here. You must open your eyes to much more than that which gazes back at you from the mirror. Fine. Can we go now? Not quite yet. There is the matter of Abraxas to discuss. Abraxas? The demon meddler. If Earth is to remain intact, he must be dealt with. He threatens your balance. His very soul must be brought to me. I see. And you want me to do it? Who better? I'll consider it. No guarantees. Then you and your watcher be gone. There wasn't much that the humans got right, but they did no art. What? Frankly, I think it's one of the reasons that the angels were so jealous of them. Have you ever seen one of those birds paint? You're talking about art. Now. Here. It's a museum. Well, certainly, we have our mission. I'm just saying... <laughs> Some people have no appreciation for the finer things in life. Avarice. Fury. <laughs> Welcome to my hall of treasure. Unfortunately, you forgot to pay the entrance fee. Your life. Take it if you dare, wretch! Enjoy your collection, Avarice. For one final time! Do you know what that art was worth? One sinner's life. Who needs a museum when you can carry a collection in this? Oh, Philistine. Ah. Welcome again, Fury. It's not like I had a choice in the matter. Do you kidnap all your guests? You would not be so disrespectful if you knew the true power. I give you. Your battle with Avarice proved you value your mission above material possessions. You are ready for stronger tools of destruction. Another toy for me to play with. You're far too generous. The Storm Hollow. Use it wisely. Why not give me all your gifts and get it over with? If you're so keen to arm one of the horsemen. Be gone! <laughs>
need your help. I helped you once before, horseman. Look at me now. How I cursed that day. How I curse you. Careful, Crowfather. I'm not here to put you out of your misery. Not yet. I know why you've come. Your brother, the one called War. He's been imprisoned by the Chard Council and awaits their judgment. For dooming the Earth. For mankind's extinction. Why should I care about your brother's fate? Because you know the truth. Your secrets can save him. <laughs> the Council will condemn War. Strip him of power, let him rot in oblivion. To hide the truth. My secrets cannot prove his innocence, horsemen. No, but they can help me to erase the crime. Bring mankind back from extinction. Madness. If it's madness, then who better to show me the way? Should a way exist, you will find it here. The Tree of Life. Let me pass. Not yet. That which you gave me, you will take it back. In exchange for its secrets, you agreed to keep the amulet. No. The voices, they curse and threaten without end. They cry to return. You must destroy it. I cannot. You annihilated their flesh. Why do you guard their souls? Open the portal. You will not pass while I live. So be it. Here your brethren are trapped in eternal torment. Do you wish to join them? And what of war? Would you kill your brother to save your precious balance? He is innocent. Are you so certain? die with you, old fool. My secrets, but not yours. Be still, horseman. You are wounded. Don't touch me. Your arrival here is a bad omen. Yes. It troubles me greatly. Old one, there's more trouble ahead if you don't start making sense. Where is the tree of life? Life? <laughs> this world is dying, lad. Choking on chaos and corruption. We can do little to stop it. Soon, the great tree too shall perish, and with it, the last of my people. Is that not what brought you here, Pale Rider? I seek the tree. Your chaos and corruption don't concern me. Seek out the Forge Sister. Ask her about the fire of the mountain. Help her, and she will help you reach the tree. And who are you to command a rider? I am a maker, older than even the Chard Council. 
These hands have laid the foundations for many worlds. But that was long ago. And now, they but hardly know the touch of stone. Are you not curious as to why I seek the tree? I would not presume to question one of the four. But yes, tell me. I must restore humanity to redeem war. Heaven and hell battle upon the shattered earth. All creation trembles, and at the center of it all stands your brother. He is innocent. I never said he wasn't. The tree holds power over life and death. If you would resurrect humanity, then you are headed in the right direction. Be warned. A dark presence dwells now within the tree, and the path is barred by corruption. What is it? Something about this place. Oh, you wish to repent for your sins? I will not waver to cleave the Watcher head from your Watcher body. Less sarcasm. Noted, mistress. Shield your eyes! Too bright. What is that? Well, well, well. Imagine my disappointment. To think that this is the best the Council has to offer. Of the fabled Four Horsemen, they send the lowliest, the most pathetic of all. Pride, charming as ever. I've come for you. <laughs> oh, really? As if you'd know what to do with me if you could have me. Please, spare me. Are you not one of the great seven deadly? Fight me instead of cowering, you pompous, pathetic Your excuse! Your taunts are a waste of breath, horsemen. No more an annoyance than the buzzing of a fly. Beneath my notice, like everything else in the Creator's grand experiment, even the greatest treasures of heaven and hell pale beneath my light. Scurry back to the hole you were born from. Perhaps when I am the only sin left on this sad little rock, you will be worthy of an audience with me. When I'm done, there will be no sins left standing. So you say. Considering your current state, I find it highly unlikely that we'll ever meet again. But by the rare chance, you do earn my favor. Find me an Ares. Though I highly doubt a creature such as yourself would be welcome in a place so refined. I encourage you to surprise me, horsemen. Until that time... What an insufferable creature. I will never understand their attachment to such things. Mistress. They cling so desperately to this iconography. The symbolism of heaven and hell. They? Humanity. For thousands of years, they held the fruit of creation in their hands but ignored it to squabble over totems and fables. Whatever the Creator saw in them. Hardly the heavenly outpost I was expecting. When we go in... We're going in? Keep your mouth shut for a change. Mistress! They don't look happy to see us. They shouldn't be. Hordes of Heaven! You know who I am! What I am! If you would see the sun set this day, you will- Feel the burn of Heaven's Blade! Good. I hate talking. Enough! Your rage is misplaced, Horseman. I sincerely doubt it, Bird. Ucille! Here to finish the job your brother war began? I have no idea what war did or did not do, nor do I care. So, you're here to steal the souls of my fellow angels, then? 
You think I don't recognize a weapon of the Lord of the Hollows? I serve none but the Council. I hunt the seven deadly sins, at least those who remain. But another task consumes me. Betrayal by your glorious kingdom! <laughs> oh, yes. Look upon my works, ye mighty, and laugh. We can hardly defend ourselves, let alone spare the energy to portray a great horse. My steed, Rampage, was slaughtered by angelic weaponry before I could summon him to Earth. I will know why, and I will have blood. Take me at my word. I have no love for the horsemen. Thanks to you, the apocalypse is at hand, and we... I have no knowledge of any conspiracy against you, or your mission on Earth. Of his kind, Lucille is honorable. Just because he doesn't know doesn't mean it's not happening. As you can see, I have problems of my own. Perhaps we can strike a deal, Horseman. Lately, I have seen my own forces ravaged. Losing more and more every day. To my horror, I have learned that my brethren are being murdered by our nightmares made real. Abominations. Undead angels. Demons are also its target, taking them into the realm of the undead as well. And who, in your estimation, is responsible? The only force in the universe capable of such a heretical act is lust. Lust? You're insane. I've crossed paths with lust before. They have no such power. <laughs> and what makes you think that the world as you've known it is the world we're now in? An unnamed demon is rumored to have bestowed upon lust the very power to take on the forces of heaven and hell. A spoiler in the apocalypse. Lust transforms angel and demon alike into the undead. Mindless things, bent only on violence and destruction. And so if I eliminate lust, thus solving your dilemma, you will in turn provide something for me. Is that the deal you propose? Indeed, if it be in my power. And to prove we mean no ill will towards you, horsemen. May this crossblade serve you well in your crusade against lust. Unchecked, their growing strength will doom us all. Find out who tried to kill me. In exchange, I will force lust to reveal the source of their power before I destroy them. We have a pact. If I discover you have in any way lied to me, you will wish it was one of my brothers tearing out your heart. Perhaps your threat will keep him in line. Are you serious? Do you think it knows we're here? No. In fact, your shrieking clearly acts as a lullaby. Yes. Sarcasm. Which of you is worse? I Perhaps. One could have changed since our last encounter. Not a particularly lusty location, is it? Have you learned nothing? Appearances can be deceiving. Besides, lust never appears as expected. What exactly did you mean by that? The notion of sin is one thing. The concept of lust is something else entirely. Especially humanity's concept of lust. I see. As in, a lust for... You name it. 
The humans have quite the imagination. Lust is everything to everyone. That's what makes lust dangerous. Too dangerous, mistress? No such thing. Can you guess what I lust after? In this broken world, what is left to want? Power. Hmm. I always thought you were the smart one. Pity. To what do I owe this distinct pleasure? After all, to be visited by a fabled horseman. I have but one purpose here. Uh, must we engage in violence? You already have my respect. I have no interest in your respect, just your head! Come now, Fury. I am no barbarian like the others. No, we need not meet as enemies a second time. Tell it to the Charred Council. <laughs> They aren't here. So instead, I tell you, Queen of the Horsemen, powerful, armed with the flame hollow, a crossblade, your fabled whip. I am above your distractions, lust. Really? The truth is often distracting when one lives a lie. You speak as though we are natural enemies. Why must this be so? I know my role in the universe. I wonder if you've ever stopped to question yours. You are a horseman. Mm. But why did you make that choice? And if so, was there some reasoning behind it? Shut up and fight! You don't even know why you fight, do you? Hmm. Do you fight for your brothers? Oh, of course not. Your antagonism towards them is well known. Do you seek to achieve some sort of balance? Oh, you never believed in the greater good until it suited you. No, no, no. What I see in your actions is a lust all your own. A lust for power and privilege and protection from the Nephilim's inevitable fall. Ultimately, that makes us allies, doesn't it? Stand down, Fury. Death, what are you, all of you, doing here? Are we not four horsemen united? We are here to confirm that the mission is complete. Mm. The mission? The other sins have been destroyed by my hand. Death worked to free war and clear his name. More importantly, we have exposed a great conspiracy. What conspiracy? Heaven and Hell working in secret consort. To bring about the apocalypse earlier than anyone would wish for. The Charred Council has dispatched us. Together. To wreak havoc on both sides. Balance will be restored. The wicked will be punished. You mean... All of this? We are to unseat the rulers of both sides. And in honor of your unwavering loyalty to the cause, the Council has decreed that you will lead the Horsemen. You, Fury, will usher in a new age on Earth. Of course. Finally, everything makes some sort of divine sense. It does? Mistress, is this not everything you wanted? Finally come to you. Set aside the past, sister. Today, we live in service to you. I will be done. This is not real! Uh, what? 
Oh. It was worth a shot. You think you know me so well? Is it not what you want most? Hmm? The power to lead in the manner you see fit. What was an illusion could soon be reality. If you set aside the wants of others and focus on yourself, ultimately, it is your choice to make. So choose. You should not have made them kneel! Let fall the blades of heaven! An archangel? Oh, you seal, you flatter me. I'll see you dead, Lust. Never to rise again! <laughs> we had a deal! Stand down! Now why would he do that? When he knows a deal with you isn't half as appealing as a deal with me. Don't listen! I can return your sweet little angels to their former glory. Yes, if you just protect me from this terrible woman. Ocille! And won't it be glorious when you march back to the gates of heaven with your numbers restored? Ah, shut up! And restore truth and righteousness to that befouled place. Your truth, Archangel Ocille. Heaven under your command. Wouldn't that be lovely? The Seventh Legion. Alive and whole. Restoring glory. Our deal is revoked. Oh, Ocille! <laughs> Won't this be fun? Who gave you the power to raise the dead? <laughs> the one constant in the universe. Those who possess the most power inevitably crave more. Lust is everlasting. As for who? Know this. I was merely a pawn, a feeling you know all too well. Fury, the angels who killed your steed. Pawns as well. Then who? Tell me! <laughs> the players in that game will reveal themselves in time. What if I reveal something even more valuable? Hmm? Spare me, and I'll give up the location of my fellow sin. Envy. And why would you do that? What reason would I have to protect that sniveling coward? Hmm? She has never experienced frontline combat. She has never experienced the horrors of war. She is the most pathetic of us. Get me to the edge of Haven, and what you want will be yours. An attractive offer. <gasps> But I'm tired of your kind underestimating my intelligence. I'll find the rest of the sins by myself. At your core, you were just an endless void that could never be filled. How disappointing. Finish it! I am ready. <sighs> I think not. Mistress! Lust's call to power is intoxicating. Even more so when one is fueled by grief. Usil's transgression can be forgiven. Once. I have a better understanding of what's happened to the Earth and what's at stake because of it. You're of no use to me, dead. If we are to survive, all of us, alliances must be made. An alliance? With him? I... don't know what to say. 
Say that you'll return the favor. I may soon need it. My word may hold no weight, but my life is yours, Fury. If I learn of any plotting against you, I will relay the information. Did I just witness mercy shown to a filthy angel? You would just as soon have your head on a pike. Are you or are you not a watcher? Because you should know better. This quest we're on is about balance, in the world and within me, it seems. Lust showed me what I could become. It is not what I want to be. And what do you want to be? <sighs> I think... That's what I'm here to find out. Curious. Very curious indeed. With each new challenge, you show more depth. What do you want? Both you and I are painfully aware of the endless parade history inflicts upon us. Creatures so pathetically focused on one single purpose. But these creatures are, ironically, completely devoid of meaning. Make your point, Lord of Hollows. It's just surprising. No. Refreshing to see something headed in the opposite direction. You are coming into a greater awareness of the flaws that kept you in chains. Flaws? Shall I list them? No, thank you. I've seen enough recently to know they are many. Which is exactly why I give you this. And by holding it, the raw power of force itself is yours. It... vibrates in my hand. I don't understand. <laughs> when the time comes, you will know when and how to use it. No! Not yet! There's been a change. It's natural, I think, after all you've been exposed to here. What do you mean? Need I remind you, there is no absolute good. Nor is there absolute evil in the universe. Those are human concepts. The Charred Council is aware of this. It's the very reason for their continued existence. Ugh, the way you blather on. What are you trying to say? Heaven and Hell are not absolutes either. Seen with the proper perspective, they are simply two opposing forces scrambling to gain power over this sad ball of mud. It is the way of all things. Precisely. But why would they be so focused on this rock and its teeming bacteria when there is an entire cosmos to explore and to conquer? A wide-eyed friend. Try not to scream like a child. You try not to die. Monster. Mistress. The talisman. It fled into that underwater cave. We must follow. Must we? Yes. Now. Makers feared. The rumors are true. A horseman in the Forge Lands. The name's Alia, and that's my brother Valis. We are the keepers of this forge. Though I reckon that means less now than once it did. This is a Maker's Forge? Nay. The Maker's Forge is lost to us. Silenced by the hands of corruption. But in its depths we once crafted the dark towers of Hell and the cities of Heaven. Now you make... Trinkets. And you, one of the four, now seek the aid of the Makers? I guess we've all fallen from high places. Acania seeking the tree and your elder speaks of fire. What is it? 
Aye, the fire of the mountain, the stone father's blood. It once flowed into our forge, as did the tears. Both imbued our craft with incredible power. The heart and the soul of stone. But corruption has taken them, and now our forge is silent. Why does this concern me? The way to the tree is lost, barred by corruption. You can no more leave this place than we. Restore our forge, and the tree can be reached. I don't follow your reasoning. We are makers, not warriors. But we are not without our weapons. Before the forge was lost, we crafted a mighty creature of soul and stone. A colossus to fight this corruption. But to awaken him requires a maker's key. And we need our forge to craft one. What is this cauldron? A temple built in the shadow of Stonefather's Peak. There, the fire of the mountain was harnessed and passed into our forge. Ride east of town, ride through the charred pass, and towards the cindery peak of the Stone Father. There, you will find the cauldron. <laughs> the tears be true. A rider has come to the realm. Not another one. You're the Nephilim, the one they call Death. How did you get here? Took a wrong turn. It appears I'm stranded here with the rest of you. If you seek the cauldron, you should know that it fell to corruption fair long ago. I can still feel the fire itself rumbling deep in the earth. I'll take my chances. A little different than the others. Less pleasant on the eyes, for one. <laughs> I could say no less for you. Folks around town call me Pup or Lad, but I prefer my own name. Calm. Pup it is, then. As you will. Matters not to me. Why not restore the fire yourself? I came here just for that purpose. Figured I'd pop the cork, so to speak. Be the hero. But the cauldron is locked up well and tight, and the way through is swallowed by fire. You look capable enough. Perhaps you can find a way. I'll wait here and guard the entrance. Perfectly fake. Mistress, you must awaken. You must come back. Nice try, but lust already tried that trick. Gluttony! Mistress! Your desire, horseman. It would have been more merciful than what I'll do to you. If you can reach me. Perhaps I shall disembowel you and let you watch your guts spill out in front of you. Try your best, you bloated thing. <laughs> that cocks your voice. <laughs> you think I will be an easy kill? <laughs> the easiest of all. But I'm not yet full. You know I've tried. I've been feasting. 
There are so few surprises left in the world. Isn't that sad? At the moment, I've had enough surprises. You sound odd. Is something wrong? <laughs> Take this. The stasis hollow. Why? Question my gift. I question your motives. Why does the Lord of Hollows continue to weaponize one of the four horsemen? For what purpose? Remain on your path. In time, perhaps you will find your truth. That would be a fine surprise indeed. And in the meantime, more toys for me to play with? Horsemen, in our next encounter, only one of us will survive. Cryptic. Hardly. You help me, then you threaten me? Be gone. Distracted, mistress. Ah, that Lord of Hollows is vexing. That's one word for it. Only one will survive? Do you think he's helped us this far only to betray me? I'm sure I don't know. Relationships between the Eternal Ones are as confusing and convoluted as they come. I can't keep track. Oh, you're a great help. Perhaps the Lord of Hollows is attempting to manipulate you in some way. Rattle you. Or he's gone utterly insane like the rest of his stinking world. He wasn't looking his best, was he? No, he certainly was not. <laughs> Horseman! The fire of the mountain flows again. Yes, freed by my hand. The forge burns once more. You know what awaits you, Ryder. To finish this, you must restore the tears. I'm not your errand boy, Maker. Aye, but our fates are now yoked. Help us, and we will help you. In the meantime, take this. It might be of use. Now this pistol. It belongs to my brother, Strife. How came it here? I cannot see, but there are other goods you may barter for now as well. You said there were two things that powered your forge, fire and tears. Yes, fire to wake the earth and tears to calm it. Both gifts of the Stone Father. And fire will not be enough. Nay, we require both. Where might I find the tears of the mountain? To the west, past the fjord and into the drench fort. You will find the tears within.
It is finished then, at long last. Death, this is a maker's key, and you had best take it now, before I come to my senses. <laughs> you seem more likely to lose them, old one. A problem, aye. But there is also a solution. The Guardian. Meant to be our greatest weapon, and capable of clearing the forest around the tree. But an earthquake drove us from the foundry, and now I fear something else roams within. The Guardian was never finished. If the Guardian is your masterwork, how am I to complete him? In the forest lies another construct, one of the few remaining who have not fallen to corruption. He is not as vast as the Guardian, but his heart is strong. Seek him out, and he will guide you to the foundry. There, you may activate the Guardian using the Maker's key. The constructs are awakened by a key? Aye. Constructs do not have a soul like you or I. Not until that soul is given. This key unlocks the stone and prepares it for the ebb and flow of a Maker's life force. In fact, it will bring to life most any construct you find in the realm. <laughs> And what makes you think I have a soul, old one? Isn't that what troubles you? How will I know when I've found this construct? Constructs are beings of boulder and stone, animated by a Maker's life force. Most possess but a fraction of a soul. Just enough to drive them, and give them purpose. But through others course the whole of a Maker's being. His memories and emotions. A story half remembered life weighs heavy on us all not even stone can bear it if wardens can resist corruption why not use them to cleanse your realm sadly the wardens were called when the seals were broken the makers told to be paid at the end war this warden is all that remains hmm. then the seals were broken say that you can reach the foundry and that a guardian lies within the foundry yes it is where i was cast but it was lost and now you will need my help shall we hold on little one Slumber, I have felt the Guardian reaching to my dreams. He is the strongest of us all, but in his heart there is a hunger. The Guardian was built to destroy. He has much in common with corruption. You must speak with Adar and make your peace before we cross over. There may be no crossing back. I restored your forge and brought life to stone. But am I any closer to the tree? Tell me now, old one, or you may never get the chance. I hear the foundry is dangerous. As is the tree, horseman. And the entire forest. That is why you must awaken the Guardian. But have you asked yourself, why seek the tree? The tree of life is where I will find my brother's absolution. The tree of life is a gateway. 
From it, one may travel to places undreamed of. Whether a world of oceans and forests, or ice, or endless night, the tree exists there. It may appear different, yet it is the same tree and its roots connect all the realms. The tree of life is not where journeys end, but where they begin. Mistress, your talisman. We're close. This time you watch, you do not speak. Fury. Fantastic. Your day of reckoning is at hand, Sloth. You will be judged in combat like all the others. Darling, please. Do I look like I'll be fighting anything or anyone anytime soon? You have no choice. There's always a choice, darling. I choose not to ch ch choose. Too much of a bother. I'd laugh at you, but it's too much effort. Don't take offense. You'll play your part well in our wee morality play. But really, why bother? It's the apocalypse. Whoa. I'm completely over it. My sole concern is comfort. That sounds familiar. Mouth. And as you can see, I have my many minions for that. <laughs> it's all they live for. You should try it. I've bought you a few slaves if you'll just relax. I shall, once you and your kin lie dead. I only hope the rest put up more of a fight than you. <laughs> Let them stand or fall. It matters not to me. You understand, don't you, horseman? The futility of it. Why not join me? Take a load off and enjoy the nothingness. I bet you'd take to it quite easily. Would you abandon your mission? No. <laughs> Is that so? The Great Fury would not allow herself to fall prey to such a creature. Are you truly up to the task? You owe me a throne, but I'll battle for your head. Congratulations. You must be so fulfilled. What change do you think killing me will enact on this sad crusade? <laughs> Are you begging? Muster up a little dignity. Sweetheart. I let slaves wipe my ass with the wings of angels while I enjoy a morning tea. <laughs> Dignity is a myth, like the balance you fight for. Oh, aren't you exhausted? <laughs> yes, but even the most grueling fight is less tiring than taking no action at all. Most exercise he's had in a millennium.
No point either. You heard the warning. It's not safe to go alone. You need my help. That's the Guardian Rider. And if you would get to the tree, we will have to wake that beast. And then what? The Guardian will do what it was meant to. Destroy the corruption blocking the tree. But it looks finished. Why does it just stand there? The body is finished, aye. But as it stands, it is no more than dead stone. To give life to the stone, we must give it the essence of a maker's heart. Three of them for a beast this large. And how do we do that? These heart stones were finished, along with the Guardian, but never married to the stone. They're all in the temple. We need only look to find them. Then let's go. Good threat, horseman. I'll get it. Let's get this back to the Guardian. To the Guardian. We've seen its work, Horseman. Corruption fair weeps from them. The other two heartstones were pure. I'm wagering that their radiance will cleanse the third. Mayhaps. Khan, the greater risk is to do nothing. Hey. Maker's bones. That heart. It's beyond my help, horseman. Do your worst. No choice. 
but to destroy him also. Yet if the path to the Tree of Life is to be clear, I have no choice but to bring it back. How many times would you have? The Guardian will be as a new boy, free of corruption. Now, stand aside. This will take more than a small effort. barren planet shorn of life. Oh, humans are weak and simple. They would not survive this resurrection, nor do they deserve it. That is not ours to judge. I do this to spare war from the Council's punishment. And what of the Nephilim? Would you save but one and not the rest? The Nephilim are a threat to the balance. If we had taken Eden, none of this would have happened. Yet you rode against us. Slaughtered our flesh, then bound our souls in your amulet. Who are you? I think you know. Once, you called me brother. Absalom. I have forsaken that name. Now, I am corruption. The day you raised your scythe against us, I was born. And soon, I will be all. The tree of life has fallen to my darkness. From withered root to fruitless limb, and even death himself will not escape it. What defines a soul? Some call it the spark within that fights the darkness, that burns for life itself. But what of death, who became the reaper on the day he slaughtered the Nephilim? He killed his brother. His comrades and Absalom. Death! Why do you slay your own? The Nephilim have no claim to Eden. There are realms for angels and demons. Why not for us? Eden belongs to man. It belongs to those who take it! have 
not answered the question. <laughs> Was it worth it? Brother. That one moment. <laughs> begot corruption. And crowned him Kinslayer. <laughs> the bitter victory could not be undone. Another vacation spot? There is something familiar about this place. One of the sins is nearby. He and I have unfinished business. Wrath is here? Not for long. This is bad. Even, dare I say with apologies, stupid mistress. What are you so afraid of? It looks to be another would-be demon conqueror. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, not would-be. Will. Easy, my lady. There's no need for steel or whips. <sighs> Another demon with a mysterious agenda. Do you know Volgrim? I believe you two would get along. <laughs> no, my lady. Where Volgrim deals in trash, Abraxas trades in class. Ah, my reputation precedes me, I see. <laughs> it does. Someone wants you dead. Ah. <sighs> They can get in line. The meek always envy the strong. Isn't that right, Water? Lovely, but the Lord of Hollows seems to think you're a meddler. You've seen the traitor? Where? Matters not. What matters is that he wants you dead, and I want to know why. You're a clever woman. It takes but one eye and half an ear to tell, so... I'll give it to you straight. That will be the home of a very, very important demon. Someone who will win this war once and for all. And I will stand by his side. The traitor doesn't like that. The traitor fears change. <laughs> Better the devil you know and all that. And what of the traitor? What does the Lord of Hollows want? Sometimes the birds win. Sometimes the bats. Balance. But the traitor... The traitor wants more. The false lord would be a false god. He would hollow this planet as he hollows souls. That is his becoming. He sent you against me because he knows that when my lord is installed, the Braxis will find the traitor and pull the organs from his backside for what he's done. Melidi's job is to keep order. The lord of hollows believes he is order. If the lady is as the lady does, she should kill the traitor soon, before he rises. But if you're going to surprise me, please get on with it. I have an empire to build. You are quite the silver-tongued demon, aren't you? The original. <laughs> it shall make a fine trophy, then. Suit yourself. <laughs> I'm no one's lady. Mistress, this would be a fine time to leave. Good luck with your tower, demons. Pray I have no call to come back. Sounds like a terrible battle, which means we'll be running headlong towards it. <laughs> You're learning! Yeah. 
us! Let it take you over! There's only glory and pain! Anger is love! Death is life! Wrong. Thanks for the assistance. Watching, not speaking. Huh. We're all learning something on this little sojourn. that so many have come here by your hand. <sighs> and yet you so rarely visit the dead kingdom. I had no plan to visit this wretched place. I sought the tree of life. I found it. Now I'm here. <laughs> the tree is no destination, my friend. Only a portal to other worlds. If the tree is what you seek, then you have arrived. That I have been betrayed. Mm, not so hasty. The tree is wise beyond imagining. If it brought you here, then here is where you belong. Perhaps I can help. Mm. I doubt it. You would be wise to heed me. I have a merchant's skill to grant your deepest desire. Tell me, Ryder, what do you seek, hmm? I would redeem my brother, restore the balance. Hmm, yes, I have heard the tale. Your brother rode, though no call was given, and mankind paid the price. Guard your tongue, merchant. I give no judgment, friend. Only pass on that which I have been told. You were right to seek the tree, but it is only the gateway. What you seek is the Well of Souls. The Well of Souls can restore humanity. And more! The Well channels the dead into this kingdom from every world, above and below. It is also how souls are brought back into creation when they are ready to be reborn. Tree of life, tree of death, portals to other worlds. I know none of this. How is it I have remained so blind, or does your tongue only spit lies? Much was kept from the Nephilim, and from the Four. Why? Because power must be tempered with ignorance. If the Nephilim knew the true nature of the tree, all would have perished. I forsook the Nephilim, 
Became a warrior for the balance, even killed my own people. I protect these worlds, you and the tree, yet still I remain in the dark. Forsaken, yes. Forgotten? Lo, the Nephilim live on in you. Mm. But what do I know? I am but a simple merchant. <laughs> Pretend that I believe you. Where should my search begin? You must scale the Serpent's Peak and summon the Eternal Throne. There the Lord of Bones slumbers. <laughs> he will guide you to the well, <laughs> or he will have your soul. <laughs> In the kingdom of the dead? No, no, this will never do. I must speak with the Lord of Bones. <laughs> oh, that is not possible. My Lord attends his realm, a burden beyond even your ken, horseman. And what is your use? A doorstop. There is but one way to draw him from his slumber. The Gilded Arena. Here mortals are offered a last chance to earn freedom from the grave. A boon that includes an audience with the king. Defeat the arena's champion and return here with its skull. His majesty will grant you an audience. And where is this arena? Fret not, horse. We have already arrived. Behold, a challenger enters the arena. But what does he see? Absolution from death. No! This one yet lives. Quiet! You would tell us his cause. Speak, challenger. I'm here to defeat your champion. And so all challengers post. But most leave in torment. Their souls burn from existence, and our champion the more the stronger for it. Enough! Bring out your champion! <sighs>
I was so hoping you would not return. <sighs> what of the arena's champion, then? He won't be entertaining you any longer. No. Impossible. I believe your king will see me now. I cannot deny you. You stink of the living, horsemen. Of souls long overdue. You are not welcome here. Pity. I was starting to enjoy the atmosphere. Then you have not been here long. Billions of souls crowd my kingdom. All of humanity wailing for vengeance. <sighs> but I see you are already familiar with such music. What would you have of me, horseman? Show me the way to the Well of Souls. <laughs> and what do you seek there? Power over life and death? Or do you hope for absolution, Kinslayer? I wondered where the souls of your brethren had gone, for they never passed through my realm. Your realm hardly needs more subjects. I will send you to one in my kingdom who knows the way to the Well of Souls. But first, there are demons that you must face. I've already faced and killed many. Not like these. There is great power bound in that amulet. But your shame stays its unlocking. I regret nothing. Oh, I can see beyond your flesh to where the true battle rages. <laughs> Welcome, horseman, to our final encounter. Mistress, wait! Lord of Hollows, what's happening? Now! Answer me! Are you here to end me? You should know. You prophesized it. Yes, I did. And if there was ever a time to strike me down, it is here, now, before my becoming. So, what comes next, horseman? Abraxas said you mean to hollow the earth, that you used me to gain the power to do so. <sighs> Demon who speaks true. Now I have seen everything, but Abraxas did not. Tell me. There was a time long ago when I belonged to the Charred Council. Liar! Is it so difficult to believe that I could be counted among their number? I was a force for balance, believed in the work of the Council. But after eons, I became disenfranchised. Their feeble lip service toward the very concept of maintaining balance became all too dogmatic. They quickly reduced their focus to policing the forces of heaven and hell. But in doing so, they did not account for humanity. Humanity? They are but- Hairless simian. Yeah. Playthings of angels and demons, the forgotten class. But they were meant for so much more. Humans were always meant to embody the universal balance. They were created to evolve. You flatter them. No, they simply do not fear them as others do. Someone means to prevent humanity from reaching its full potential. They did so with this premature war. And the Council? Allowed it to happen, and no. I cannot prove it. It was removed from their ranks long ago. But I heard whispers. 
and saw all the signs. Thus I prepared my gathering of souls from angels, from demons, from humans. It's an endeavor meant to offer humanity the opportunity to see its potential realized. My final penance for a lifetime of complicity. Ah! I don't understand! I am the vessel. You are the guardian. As I said when we met, to achieve balance and save this world from heaven and hell, one must choose a side. I have chosen mine. It's you, Fury. No! What do you choose? Uh, 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 I choose... Life. It is a good feeling to have a purpose again. Isn't it? By becoming. Killed him? He was mad. Mad as the rest. Something else you want to tell me, mistress? Yes. I'm tired of demons with delusions of grandeur. Horseman, what did you learn from the Lord of Bones? I suppose your king lives up to his name, if not his bargains. The dead king has granted you passage to the city of the dead. Who must I seek in the city of the dead? You should worry more about the one who seeks you. Answer my question, Scarecrow. <laughs> There's no fun in simply telling you. Then speak no more. I'd keep watch on my own neck if I were you. would I be but the city of the dead would you like to ask a question or just stand there like you've seen a ghost tell me how to reach the well of souls the well of souls is a place of unimaginable power the key to life and death of creation itself and that is why the well has a key of its own one well, that was divided long ago the angels keep one half and the demons the other. And never shall the two meet. Unless you truly mean to save your brother. To save war, I would storm the White City. Of that, I am more than certain. But there is no need. 
The angels have realms beyond the White City, as the demons do beyond their dark kingdom. All will become clear to you once you reach the tree. I've already done that, Crowfather. Nevertheless, you must find the tree again and go wherever it takes you. Absalom lives. Yes, Absalom lives on. His rage and agony spread as corruption, and he will unmake all of creation to destroy the balance. I killed Absalom once, Crowfather. If I could go back, I would see him spared. I doubt he would grant you the same courtesy. How can I restore humanity? The Well of Souls is where all life begins. Where the souls of the dead are born into their new lives. I freed the souls of humanity. And in other times, that would be enough. But something draws power from the Well, leaving only void where there once was life. I fear you have only released the souls into further torment. Then there is no hope. Humanity is lost. Not so. Even now, you carry with you the power to restore the well. The Nephilim? If you sacrifice their souls? Yes. They alone have the power to undo what was done. So I must sacrifice the Nephilim, my kin, to restore mankind? The Nephilim are dead, by your own hand. That broken talisman is all that remains. Would you leave them to eternal torment in that cage upon your chest? <laughs> Abaddon's eye. It is. Welcome to Lost Life, Rider. From one warrior to another. Do I know you? I am Nathaniel. I fought beside you at the gates of Eden. Would have died were it not for your blades. But I'm not troubled that you don't recall me. Your thoughts that day were on killing Nephilim. You are of the Hell God. I was. But I guard the light now, and the Archon. You'll find both in the Crystal Spire. But something tells me you are not here to glory in my master's radiance. What gave that away? I'm looking for a key. I would guess that what you seek is no simple key. For that, you should consult the Archon. He sees much from the peak of his spire. Out of the shadows, and into the light. I see you, horsemen. The things you have done. The lives you have ended. I know why you are here. Then you will give me the key. I have guarded the key for centuries. It is mine, and I will not part with it lightly. Not now. Corruption spreads. In our city. In our hearts. Only I remain pure, a beacon against the darkness, helpless to push it back. They're not all helpless, Arka. Huh. Perhaps not. How does the City of Light fall to corruption? It wasn't the city that fell, but those within. It began with just one angel, weak of will, given to doubts. When the darkness called, he welcomed it in. From him, the corruption spread. It seemed only I could sense it, gathering above our heads. And though I warned my brothers of the storm that was to come, they did not listen. Only when the cloud burst did the City of Light fall. And other realms have fallen since. After the seals were broken and Hell's legions loosed upon the earth, many divine relics were lost. One. The Rod of Arafel could help reverse what has happened here. 
I dare not retrieve the rod myself. The gates to the White City are closed to any angel who visits Earth. But you... are no angel. Acquire the rod, and I will clear a path into my citadel. There you will find the key to the Tree of Life. As for what you will find on Earth, after you face it, even you may curse the name of war. Confidence suits you. When earned, yes. You are proud. See, I never understood why pride was considered a deadly sin. The power you feel now after having completed an arduous task. Isn't it empowering? You've shown great promise. Done exceptional work. Don't you deserve something for it? Perhaps, but not from you. Before you make a tragic mistake, I'd like to make you an offer. You've seen the world. You've seen the state it's in. You're smart enough to know that someone somewhere has lied to you. There is no plan. There is no balance. It's all lies, but imagine if it were true. Imagine if you and I truly set out to give the world a direction, order. Isn't that your true purpose? We could be the force for balance the world deserves. We could be greatness. At one time, that speech might have worked on me. But that was when I did not understand how ugly pride could be. Thank you for your generous offer, but if this world is to be fixed, neither of us will be the ones to do it. Nothing you will accomplish in your whole miserable life will compare to that which I have built. Did you speak to the Lord of the Hollows? He knew. He too was proud. Tell me about the Council. Your so-called masters are infected with pride. They serve no balance. Who do you think released the Seven from our prison? What purpose do we serve without humanity to corrupt? Tell me my words do not ring true. You cannot deny the pride that still resides within you, can you? Enough empty flattery! Tell me everything. <laughs> you already know everything, mistress. The great irony here is that for once, your enemy is right. You should feel pride, but you do not. You only feel fear. Fear that you came this close to greatness, only to fall! See? Your counsel betrays you. Watcher! Always so pretty. I used to be so jealous of you, sister. Envy! <sighs> no!
It was all true! Yes, all of it. I envy that ignorance. Bliss, is it not? You know what else I envy? Your power. And thanks to our mutual benefactors, that power is mine! <laughs> <laughs> Pride had it right. The Charred Council set you up. They want us all dead. All seven sins and the horsemen. No! Oh, but I, I knew better. <laughs> jealousy smells jealousy. I took the form of a trusted servant, and you, horseman, became both my sword and my shield. Uh, with the other sins out of the way, I will destroy the Charred Council once and for all! Only then will the Earth finally be mine! <laughs> Pride goeth before the fall! <laughs> A bit on the nose, but the message is clear! Mistress, easy. Do you hear it? This is not what we seek. Let us carry on. Wait. The Maker. You owe him nothing. I know. I want him to owe me. Easy, child. Easy. I can lead you to others like you. Human, won't that be nice? <laughs> you snore. Maybe it's a broken nose. Well, looks like you've been busy. Doing what, I have no idea, other than getting your ass handed to you. <sighs> Who are you, human? To speak to me like this? Oh, I'm just another refugee. Like you. But I'm not strong enough to defend the balance. That's your purpose. I... have learned... that I am weak. Well, maybe now you finally understand how all humans feel. Pulled into a war they never asked for. Left to their own devices against forces they cannot possibly understand or effectively fight. All of humanity has been betrayed. And yet, they still fight on. What about you? I strayed from the path. I have been jealous. I have been wrathful. I have been lazy. Ugh. Worse and more. All the things the seven sins stand for, and I have paid dearly for it. So in other words, you have lived. Yes. Good then. You're finally alive. And with life? There is always hope. Hope? I was humbled in my battle with Envy. No doubt she's on her way to destroy the Charred Council, even as we speak. And I remain stranded on Earth, so when you speak of hope, human, I cannot concur. All hope is lost. <laughs> no. Haven is built on hope. Come, speak to Ulthane. You'll see.
Why did they help me? That's uh, kind of what humans do. And the fact that you sent more than a few survivors our way didn't hurt. All for naught. We didn't pull you from the rubble to quit now. Envy holds the power of the Seven. Your betrayal can be seen on your face. Left for dead like some useless discarded thing. But it is not over. Here, take it. A gift from the Lord of Hollows. Deserves to be in stronger hands than mine. You know not what you offer, horseman. You cannot be serious. It's important. Clearly, I'm not worthy. Don't you want it? This was not meant for me. The Lord of Hollows knew whom he was choosing. His faith will not be questioned. Not by me, anyway. What? This milestone should be acknowledged. If you won't do it, I'll do so for you. A reflecting pool? Aye, with a few adjustments. But it's only meant for you. Will only take you to your heart's desire. I desire only to finish what the Council began. Find your resolve, Horseman. It's all you have now. And it is what you need if you're to stop envy and unseat your former masters. I will simply wait out the apocalypse and destroy whatever weakened generals remain. The Earth will be mine. It's over, Envy! You have failed. Kill her, horsemen! We command! Oh, shut up! You command nothing but my scorn, and you will know my fury soon enough. Blasphemy! Yield or die, Envy! <laughs> It was mine! All of it was mine! I deserve it! 
would seem you have finally accomplished your task, Fury. Perhaps you should be rewarded. But perhaps not! Envy may have caught us unawares, but we have more than enough power to deal with an insect like you. You have overstepped your bounds, horsemen. You shall be punished, along with your brothers, like the impudent child you are! No! I will not die like this! I will not allow your corruption! Where did you get that? Deliver that unto us. No. <laughs> no. I don't think it was made for you. Besides, feels pretty good. Such arrogance. Such gall. No, that would be pride. This is truth. And the truth is, this can destroy you! You'll never find out. Rich! Enraged. No doubt fueling the attack on Haven in secret. If you have a plan for them. The time is now. Heaven, Hell, the Chard Council. They wish to see them annihilated. You know this, but perhaps you don't know the reason. Even before the apocalypse. Why were your lives so hard? Because you were created for a great purpose and left unprotected. So those who fear you have set out to destroy you with false promises and wars and sin that they blame on you. They all fear you. That fear can be used against them. Humanity can win this war. Look around you. This is what's left of humanity, and we are in no shape to fight a war on the scale you suggest. No. You must hide. From the eyes of heaven and hell? The Council? That's exactly what must be done. But what humanity needs more than a good hidey hole is a protector. A protector? Chamber. 
What sort of a beaker would I be if I built a doorway that only connected two places, eh? Huh? <laughs> Your heart's desire, horseman! A safe place for the poor unwanted. I don't understand! Aye, well, you will. Sadly, you will understand it all as you travel with them. <sighs> Me? They are in need of a protector, and you need a new purpose of our own. Powers in my possession to protect humanity. And one day, we will set things right. Together. Uthain, my brother, War, is an innocent in this drama. If you ever find an opportunity to assist him in any way, I would ask you to do so. I will. Thank you, Maker. May our future be one of justice. Aye. Safe travels, horseman. the traitor no matter the young one remains unaware of the power she possesses the council will deliberate this turn and they will send war to earth a mistake the final seal will be broken and I will revel in the chaos you may go I serve only the Council, only the Balance, as the Horsemen always have. Send me back. I will punish the ones responsible. How? What hope do you have against the Destroyer's armies? You are powerless. Then I will fail, and the Demons will have carried out your sentence. confers with demons now, does it? Since the truce was broken, some demons have fallen from the Destroyer's favor. Volgrim is one such outcast. He has long sought an audience with us. 
How long have I been here? Looks like our trajectory was a little off. Not so fast, horseman. <laughs> Let's lay down a few ground rules. Until this is over, you're a dog on a leash. I say bark, you bark. And if I have to kick you, you'd better not bear your teeth. Understand? Or should I teach you to play dead? Long enough for the last of the mouth breathers to die off. Then the third kingdom is lost. didn't hear you coming. Vogrum. The council finally took me seriously. If so, you're surely not empty-handed. For this shall be the briefest of introductions. Seek the power behind the one called Destroyer. You will find the answers and the font of his power there. Oh, such haste to die. You aren't even a shadow of your former self. You wouldn't last a heartbeat. Besides, the way to the tower is shrouded by demon magics. Even I do not know the way. Who does? These ancient gates have a mind of their own. But with this, you may reach an understanding. Beyond the gate, seek out Samael's prison. Once, Samael was close in power to the Dark Prince himself. Some might even say, a threat. You will find he is no friend to the Destroyer. Seek me out when you've gathered more souls. I will make it worth your while. Destroyer still breathes. The 
destroyer, yes. To his service we are bound, though enemies we remain. So his enemies we call friend. Pass now, friend. Most bring victory. Most bring freedom. I should kill you for what your brother did here, but you saved my life. Consider us even. What do you know about the Rod of Arathel? A weapon of immense power, brought to Earth by the Archon Hestis to battle the demons in the End War. But Hestis fell, and the Rod was shattered. Now the Destroyer uses its pieces to fuel his army of darkness. What was broken can be reformed. Where are the pieces of the Rod? In the hands of the Destroyer, he has summoned creatures from the Abyss and drawn forth his chosen, things of blasphemy, who even now divide this world into their own hellish domains. The Suffering are one such beast. They feed upon the dead of this world and twist them into a swarm of flesh and bone that fight as one mind. It was they who attacked us moments ago. One mind, easily sundered. I will not risk more Helgard to recapture the Rod of Arafel. But, should you wish to undertake this fool's errand, then follow the trail of corpses left by my brethren. A fool's errand? Well, it would not be my first. The Rod of Arafel has been made whole. I am tempted to ask that you wield that weapon and turn the tide of this war. But I fear the Destroyer would capture it again and turn it to his dark purpose. No, better that you remove it from this world and into the safe keeping of the White Army. We will make our stand here until the Hellguard is no more. I would stand with you, Uriel. My brother's fate takes me on another path. You have proven yourself honorable, a virtue little known with your kind. But if I ever see him, war must answer for his crimes. He could not have brought this upon the earth. And I will see my brother spared. Do what you will, Ryder. But this world is lost. And that cannot be undone. Be careful what you wish for, Archon. You just might get it. The Rod of Arafa. I have been waiting. So long. It feels every bit as powerful as I imagined. Then you should have no problem clearing a path into your city. A path? No. I will clear the entire realm. I will burn away the shadows with holy light!
If you are to reach the Citadel, you will need wings. Seek out the scribe, most ancient. He still wanders the ruins. He can help you end your quest. abandoned his senses and took up his sword. It happened to the Archon. It happened to me. The Archon. It was that damn pool. They're useless forbidden for a reason. Whatever vision he saw within rent his mind. The corruption spread from him. He made the city a slaughterhouse while professing his own purity. Eventually, the Archon fled to the crystal spire. destroy the key. Surely you understand, Horseman. I did what I had to do. Only I may bear the key. <laughs> Do you know what's imprisoned here? There are things even you should fear, horsemen. Once you were strong, but now you are weak and you are alone. The destroyer knows of your coming. Even now, he moves his legions against you. Then I'll make this quick. Executioner. 
they should have sent all four of you. I have no interest in killing you, Samael. Ah, the Destroyer! He's beyond your reach, beyond mine. Has prison made you a coward? Perhaps there is a way. But you will need to get inside the Destroyer's Spire. The tower is guarded by four of his chosen. Bring me their hearts and ask me no questions. My reasons for helping you are my own. Where can I find these guardians? First, seek the Twilight Cathedral, where the Bat Queen Tiamat has gone to roost. The whole of her domain is a blistered inferno. By land, you will never reach it. Find the high ground with this. And bring me her still beating heart. Thing. Some demon trick. I know what I saw. He's right. Uriel. It's there, beneath the stench of this place. You can sense it, ancient. From neither the White City nor the Black Depths. Something lost between. Hellgod! Two arms! Slay him! Without your feathered friend, how will you escape this prison of rock? I'll find a way. You have certainly proven yourself resourceful. Perhaps I can provide a quicker way. 
Speak plainly, demon. Serpent holes. Ancient paths that worm their way beneath the husk of this dead world and beyond. I use them to get about, and for a price, so can you. What do you want, Baldrum? A trifle, really? The Chosen's heart. I felt its power the moment you stepped from that tower. You wound me, horseman. I would never come between you and your friend Samayan. No, I only wish to look at the heart. One glance, and our bargain is sealed. <laughs> Samayan will be pleased. The serpent holes are yours, horseman. Seek me out when you wish to use them. I trust that she suffered. Not nearly enough. Beautiful. The second guardian, the griever moves in tunnels beneath this place. But first there is an obstacle that must be removed. Ulfain, one of the old ones. You didn't mention that before. Changing the deal already, Samael. Be silent, filth. <laughs> My business is with the horsemen. Ulthane is no ally of the Destroyer. But you won't find the Griever without confronting the Black Hammer. And that will require strength you don't possess. <laughs> Yet. What the hell do you think you're doing, Samael? Tell him, Watcher, how you stifle the horseman's true power in order to keep him on the Council's leash. War. Destroy this parasite. You so much as blink at me, and the Council will end you, both of you. I'm protected. Not in here. You are War, rider of the Red Horse. Not some puppet on this pathetic... Creature's dreams. Or I will make you suffer. Focus your anger. A great rage stirs within you, clawing to get out. You must release it, or a puppet you will remain. You are reborn. <laughs> what was that? The horseman is broken, but there is still much power in him. For a moment I saw one who would stand alone against the Destroyer's army. I have the Angel Key. Then your task nears its end. I can open the way, Death. But you must find the other key. The demon key. Yes. Tread lightly. There is not that way, but shadow. This place looks familiar. Did I not create Absalom from the mingled dust of angel and demon? And from that first Nephilim, 
were not the rest formed. They were brothers to the horsemen. Yet when the riders slaughtered the Nephilim, only you showed remorse. Why did you not cast the amulet into the abyss, as the Council ordered? Why spare their souls, if not to one day undo your sin? My sin? This corruption was born in Absalom. It rises from him like a black tide, and you, Mother, must help me stop it. Where is the demon key? In Samael's keeping. But he is gone now, and the key has vanished. Oh, don't worry, my child. Time, like sin, may be undone. With this, you can return to the past. To Samael's stronghold before his fall, and find the demon key. I only ask that when you reach the Well of Souls, you will answer your heart and resurrect the Nephilim. Only one horseman, even to the past. No, this visit is unsanctioned. In fact, no one knows you're here. Not a soul. Hand over the key, it could be our little secret. What are you waiting for? You plan on using them hands ever again. You best not go touching that what ain't yours. Ooh, Thane. You know me, but I don't know you. And I don't like strangers. Especially the uninvited kind. And maybe who you are don't matter as much as what you want. I've come for the Black Hammer. <laughs> really now? Well, you're welcome to give it another go. But after that, I'll best not catch you around here again. It's you. What's that now? The Black Hammer. It's you. 
your worst. But let me tell you a little secret, boy. The one in the dirt is by far the easier of the two. One hundred years. Since the day Abaddon was taken from us, I have prayed for this moment. For your crimes, I would see you tried in the White City. But until this world is free of the Destroyer, its gates are closed to us, and justice will not wait. I sentence you here and now! Your justice can wait till we finish our little scrap, missy. There ain't no sport in jumping into a tussle that don't concern you. Go on, fly away, pigeons. If I'm a pluck ya. Blasphemer, it is you who take sides in a battle that doesn't concern you. <laughs> Please, allow me. That's what you get for touching what ain't yours. I'd duck if I were you. You'll go nowhere, Horsley. You cannot escape your fate. Abaddon will be avenged. You seem mighty convinced, but I ain't. So once again, you know me, but I still don't know you. The Griever's lair. The Griever's beyond here. I had to seal these passages up tight to keep our pets out of my yard. Little bastards kept dropping by uninvited, taking things what don't belong to them. I am who I claim to be. You kill that griever. Even make it back out of that hole, that'll be proof enough. Then, I promise, we'll have words. Now get off of my property, before more pigeons come looking at crap in my yard. Horseman. You could have knocked, but I suppose that isn't your way, is it? Why are you here? Strange question, seeing as how you're the one broke into my house. You weren't always the Black Hammer. You huddle in exile, a hermit among tombstones. Why? What role did you play in this, Ulthane? Horseman! I've got something for you. A fair bit of work, but uh, it's a bit dainty for me. 
It'll serve you better. You didn't answer my question, old one. Maybe I like the scenery, was it to you? You asked for my help and I gave it. You go on being ungrateful and I'm liable to get upset. Do I look like I'm afraid of death, boy? It's not death you should fear. Did you enjoy yourself? War in the Black Hammer, plucking pigeons. <laughs> you see a great many things from inside a prison, Samael. There is little you can keep from me, Horseman. Once I have a mind to know it. And what do you know of Uriel? <laughs> ah, I thought the Horsemen were above such earthly pursuits. She believes I killed Abaddon. The Hellguard worshipped their fallen lord and leader. And Uriel? <laughs> Some might say her admiration was less than professional. <laughs> she will stop at nothing to punish the one responsible. I fought the demon who killed Abaddon. And he will be punished. Straga! is the strongest of the Chosen. No doubt you'll face him again. He draws power from the Spire and won't stand to be away from it for long. With all I have taught you, you might even survive the reunion. Whose heart would you have, demon? The Stygian is king of the ancient worms that now plague the Ashlands. It won't be easy. The worms grow well in such fertile ground. Fertile? Fertile with death. Decay. All the land is covered in it. The ashes of the dead. But you may be in luck. It seems that some fool demons have taken to capturing the worms for sport. And they hunt other creatures as well. The strongest are made to fight in cruel arenas. The demons seek to tame the Stygian, not knowing that within the monster, there beats the black heart of the Chosen. How do the demons avoid the Ashworms? You know of the Chronospheres? A gift of the Old Ones. It is said that to master the Chronosphere is to master time itself. One could stop time, or even move it forward and back. Indeed. None of the old masters exist, but the demons have learned to use them to a lesser degree. I can grant you a basic understanding of the Chronospheres. It won't be much. Perhaps just enough to avoid the worms. Perhaps? Perhaps not. What in this life is certain, Horseman? Other than our word, of course. Disappoint me, horseman. You look quite small from up here. You can look me in the eye when I kill you. Let's see how you fare, horseman. With only two legs to carry you.
thing's lost its mind. Kill it! <laughs> I said, finish it! Ruin. I won't fight you. You fool! I order you to break that hand! And if I refuse, you'll kill me. I'll take my chances. Silitha's web-infested lair is far across the great chasm in the Ashlands. Ruin has yet to regain much of his strength, but he will make the distance. As for Silitha, just get there, and she'll find you. The Broodmother is a collector of sorts. Most who enter her realm, she feeds to her young. The one she takes an interest in. <laughs> ah, those are the unlucky ones. Those she keeps alive. And they can live a long time. Long enough to tell her things. You could say she collects stories, information. What stories will she tell me about you, Samael? Careful! or your ending will be a tragic one. Sometimes the hero dies in the end. But Horseman, I like stories that have a happy ending. Now bring me the final heart. I have the key, Crowfather. Then at last you may enter the Well of Souls. But once undertaken, there is no returning on this path. I've come this far, Crowfather. I'm not turning back. Then be warned, Rider of Death. A dark presence guards the well, and the seeds of corruption writhe within. The well is corrupted. Yes, but not the nameless kind who have faced thus far. No. Corruption has chosen a champion, a voice to sound its clarion call. Then I will see this finished, here and now. Remember what you have learned, Ryder. Corruption is the end of all things. 
even death. Tree, the keys, the well. Why do I get the sense you are testing me? You test yourself, old friend. For what you've done. For what you had to do. And now you face the ultimate test. Will you bring death? Or give life? around you, wither and rot in the grip of corruption. Could it be that you are already blackened by the sin of betrayal? How can you defeat that which seeds in your own heart? You cannot stop me without forever damning your soul! Absalom stops the corruption. I stand at last at the well of souls. We've no idea what I must do next. It is quite simple, and yet most difficult. I'm in no humor for riddles, Crowfather. You may tap the power of the well to return the kingdom of man, or you may resurrect the Nephilim. But know that choosing one will forever doom the other. <sighs> not ended. You are alone, Lilith. Where are my Nephilim? My prince, I... The end war is upon us. 
Yet instead of the armor you promised me, death has returned man to the balance. I await your punishment. This time, Lilith, you will get no pleasure from it. With your presence, horseman. There are so many stories about you. You have killed three of the chosen, taken their hearts. Disturbing. Is that why you have come? To slay the final tower guardian? To take my heart? Did Samuel tell you how he came to bear his tainted blood? Why his accursed power beats within our breast? It is not the tower that the Chosen protect, Horseman. Our charge is to prevent Samael's return at any cost. You may kill me and return to Samael with my heart. But in him, you will face a threat greater than all the Chosen combined. I did not come for your counsel, Spider. Or your stories. My children will dance to the music of your screams! <laughs> Chosen. They never guarded the tower. What does it matter? How deal was it for ancient history? I promised you the tower, and you shall have it. rightfully mine. With my powers restored, I am like unto a god. I can suck the marrow from your bones before you drew another breath. I could, but I too have a code by which I do business. Besides, say what you will about balance and your ridiculous law. I recognize a quest for revenge when I see one. And revenge I respect. As for the details of my resignation... <laughs> well... I do not approve of the company my master keeps. Why did you challenge the destroyer, Samael? See your journey to its end, horseman. You will understand soon enough. You trust him? Who knows where in the Nine Hells this portal will take us? We will meet again. Azrael. Heaven help me. The, the Seventh Seal was not broken. What have you to fear from me, Angel of Death? If you do not intend to kill me, then perhaps you will help me. You've given me no reason to do either. Listen to me. 
the gate must be shut. The tower must be cut off from the well. It is from the well that the destroyer draws his power. The well of souls? Millions of souls, yes. Enslaved, twisted. A corrupt power to fuel the destroyer's armies. You are steward of the underworld, watcher of the well. Not a single soul flows back into this world without you knowing. Unless, Gatekeeper, you opened the way. The Destroyer sent the mightiest of his chosen against me. I fared no better than you did, Horseman, against Straga. Straga? You will take me to him. You have my word. When I found you, you said the Seventh Seal was not broken. I've heard those words before. Abaddon said the same, right before he died. The universe is sick, Horseman. The Charred Council refuses to admit it, but those of us who look, we see. We had to do something. An open attack on the Dark Kingdom would violate the treaty. What you're proposing is madness! Azrael, evil darkens every corner of creation. And heaven waits. The Council ties our hands. To question them is to question the Creator. Do you believe you know better? Yes, old friend. I do. When the seals are broken, Hell will send its chosen to declare battle rights. Their leaders will be gathered in one place and there we will sever the head of the beast. The Hell God stands ready. Breaking the seals will trigger the end war. The kingdom of man is not yet strong enough. Earth will be destroyed. No, there will be no war, Azrael. We will crush the Dark Ones before it's even begun. The pact is a sacred covenant. Even in victory, we will face the wrath of the Council. They will arrive to find the seals intact. And it will be our word, Heaven's word, against that of the Prince of Lies. Now do you see? The seals will be reforged. All will believe that Hell's legions invaded and were delivered to justice by our hand. For the glory of the light, will you do this? Oh, Azrael, you old fool. Final seal not be harmed. He protected it himself. Are you certain? Without question. We dared not involve the horsemen. We never dreamed we would have to until it was too late. Yet I am to pay the price for your betrayal. Treason! War! You will root out all involved and make them pay! Starting with this one. No. Fool! You deny the will of the Council? You heard the Angel's confession. My service to the Council is ended. <laughs> we made you, we own you. You're not done until you find the Destroyer and shut him down. Balance. Remember, get up. Azrael lives until he stops being useful. After that, you will do your duty. Straga awaits. Looks like you finally outlived your usefulness, Azriel. And how do you propose to leave the tower once Straga has been dealt with? Straga and the tower are one. Even if you manage to defeat him, you'll be trapped without me. 
We need him. Pray the horseman doesn't make it back alive. Chose poorly. <laughs> Strugger will enjoy killing you again. As I said, Straga and the Tower are one. Now let's see how useful I can be. came to me after his death. Abaddon. Alive. And I wanted so much to believe. I was such a fool. Azrael, you saw Abaddon after he fell. Saw him? I brought him here to Eden. What treachery is this, Azrael? Eden doesn't exist. Not anymore. Ignorant sprite. I bore witness as the first ones were cast out and the garden fell to ruin. I could not let heaven's first gift and greatest weapon simply rot or worse, fall to darkness. I hid it away. The tree of knowledge. Then Abaddon has been to the tree. You must draw upon its gifts now. If some way exists to stop the Destroyer, the tree will show it to you. I never dared use it myself. Perhaps if I had, things would have been... different. And Abaddon, what of his gift? That was not for me to know. Each who comes before the tree receives a different gift. Some receive nothing. Others are driven mad by visions, or simply destroyed. No, I cannot say for certain. Come. There's no way across. There is. For those who are worthy. Or those who can fly. Horseman, you have fought against the darkness so long that it has mocked you. Creatures of the light will sense it, as I have. In this place, you are worse than a demon. Conquer the shadow, then you may pass. Are you ready to face yourself in the light? Not all are prepared for what they see. The Mask of Shadows. Yes. You will see into the Shadow Realm for as long as you wear the mask. Fight well.
Heaven's first gift awaits you. I will remain here with the Watcher. I'm not letting the Horseman out of my sight. Where he goes, I go. Indeed. Go then, Darkling. Make for the tree. You will never reach the other side. <sighs> Hurry up, and don't forget who holds the leash. Would you serve in heaven, or rule in hell? The storm is coming, Uriel. Soon, I will need you at my side. I would follow you into hell, my lord. <laughs> the best laid plans, or so the humans used to say. You... did this? You plotted and schemed to call us to this world. I simply took advantage of your initiative. No... I will consider this an offering, Abaddon. And you, my loyal servant, join me and take up the mantle of the Destroyer. No. Once the throne learns what you've done, you'll be cast down, dragged in chains before the Council. You're already damned. So I offer you this choice. Would you serve in heaven or rule in hell? Return to Azrael. Persuade him to help us. Then, together, we will change the face of the universe. <laughs> Abaddon must be punished. He bends the law to his will, laughs in the face of the council. What proof do we have? The seals are intact. No doubt the angel had help, but from whom? Until we know, we must wait. His act breeds open defiance. The council weakens. How long before we are overthrown? We cannot stop Abaddon, but there are others who might, if they had reason. We cannot send the four. Without proof, there is no justice, only murder. They will see no reason in this assassination. We will send one for whom vengeance is reason enough. The blade is scattered. I guard the seventh seal. This world is ours. Heaven is ours. <laughs> you had to know it was a one-way ticket. Abaddon is the Destroyer. The Archangel? He was betrayed. He is only a pawn in some greater game. You must bring him peace. Peace? Abaddon is the Destroyer. I'm pretty sure peace is off the table. Did you find any clues among the visions? A way to stop him? There was a sword. One which broke the seals. The Armageddon Blade. But... After the seals were broken, Abaddon ordered the blade destroyed on the very anvil of its creation. Horseman, I fear the blade is lost to us now. It will be made again. What else did you see? 
Abaddon guards the Seventh Seal. He plots with others to storm the White Gates. Uriel will lead the Hellguard against him and fail. What else did you see? I saw nothing else. Seek Ulthane. He will help you. He must help you. Abaddon will have scattered the sword's remains, hidden them where none that walk in the light could find them. The Shadow Realm. Yes. Use the Mask of Shadows. Assemble the Broken Blade. Then, return it to the Forge of the Black Hammer. When this is done, return to me. Perhaps I can serve you one last time before the end. Azrael, at any time you could have left me to my fate, dead in the tower, lost among the ashes of Eden. Why do you help me now? When this is over, the Council will see that justice is done. I will kill Abaddon, and all who schemed with him. We all must answer for our sins, Horseman. When the hour of my judgment comes, I will embrace it. Whatever the light decides. Go. Waste no more time on me. And tell Ulthane. <laughs> he is the last hope of an old fool. This is no ambush, Horseman. I come alone. I, Uriel of the Hellguard, champion of the White City, Call you, horseman, to Nexus Sacramentum. Fool. I lay claim to your life before the Creator. Will you dishonor this law as well? Why? Because Abaddon said you understood honor, and because he was the best of us. The Death Oath cannot be broken until one falls by the hand of the other. I accept. mine. I decide when the angel dies, not you. You swore an oath to me. Abaddon is the destroyer. Liar! To protect you, he kept you from the truth. You pledged to follow your lord into hell, never knowing what awaited you, or what he would become. Abaddon. He was betrayed and became the enemy of all creation. I've been to the tree. Its gift was truth. And I share it with you now. Remember the Death Oath. Soon it must be fulfilled. work until now
It's Abaddon. Uriel has led the Hellguard against him. It is as you foretold. The Hellguard will fall. Angel of Death, serve me one last time. took me for someone else. She loved him, and I believe that he loved her long ago before all this. Foolishly, he chose duty above all and died for it. Will you do the same? Heaven hunts you. Hell hates you. All of creation cares not whether you live or die. Join me, war. Like a great sword, I will raise you up, and our enemies will shatter against us. The spoils of a thousand victories will be yours. Or serve the justice of a corrupt council and a creator who abandons his most faithful. I offer you this choice, horseman. Would you serve in heaven or rule in hell? I choose what once. The cowards did not. Something, Abaddon. Sometimes duty must be cast aside to do what must be done. It is not for duty that I kill you now. Uriel. Uriel. Reap what you have sown, betrayer. because of your precious honor. They let you take the fall. They knew you'd butcher everyone involved to clear your name. And you did. No! Oh, patience, whore. I've got some for you, too. I'll take that. If it were to get broken, you might get ideas. Like not going back in your little cage. It's tragic, really. You had freedom in the palm of your hand, and you lost it. <laughs> but so damn funny. Even you wouldn't laugh at your own funeral. I'm laughing at yours. Next sacramentum. The death oath is complete. God, bitch, what did you do?
No, no, no! I'm going to pull your guts out through your halo! <laughs> Keep getting up. I'll just kill you again. I was just following orders, like you. What are you going to do? Fight the council? Fight everyone? You'll never get away. You hear me? Happen here, what I would do. That's why you spared me. No. Then why? Because I would not have the last of Heaven's honor die with its champion. All debts are repaid. The duty I uphold, it may call me to raise my sword against you. And if that day comes, I won't hesitate. You will be hunted. The White City for certain. The Council and there will be others. You would wage this war alone? No. Not alone.